Today you'll learn how to knock out text in Photoshop. What you're looking at is our example which is a background of a mountain and trees and then we have a date 2013 and we have a bar that has a shadow underneath. You can see the shadow right underneath. Then we have text which has been knocked out. The word summer has been knocked out so that you can see the back area. If I go over here to the image layer I can actually move that around and you can see the the text is actually knocked out so you can see it. We'll put that back. You also notice that on the right hand side we have our various layers in the layers panel. We have the bottom layer which is the one I just moved which is the image. We have the second layer from the bottom which is the text with the date. And we have the top layer which is actually a group which is contains both the bar and the text summer with the effects such as the drop shadow and some other effects. To start off with we're going to add two layers. So we come over here to the bottom of the layers panel and where it says create new layer. We'll do an alt click to bring up the new layer dialog box and type in the first layer will be bar. Go back at the bottom of the layers panel and add a new layer. Alt click and the second layer will be called text. Now unfortunately these didn't go right at the very top of our layers panel, the two that we just added. So we have right here the bar text which I'm going to select and I'm going to shift click on the text bar and we're going to move those up to the top of the layers panel. So now at the very top is our text layer and our bar layer. We're going to start off first with our bar layer and if we go over here to the left hand side in the toolbar we'll see the little rectangle shape and we're going to click on that and I've added a fill of a 20 percent gray and a stroke of the none and we're going to add that to this photograph and you can see they're, they're pretty similar at this point. The other one up above is transparent. This one we haven't made transparent yet. If I want to move that bar around for whatever reason I can use the move tool or what the tool I like is just use the up and down arrows on your keyboard. So we'll move that down about there. Now we're going to modify this bar. We're going to add effects and to do so we're going to go over to the right hand side to the layers panel where we have bar selected. We're going to double click in that area and it will bring up the layer style dialog box and at the very bottom you'll see an area that says drop shadow. We're going to add a drop shadow. We're going to click on that and to see the tools, right now we're not seeing the tools for the drop down shadow. What we want to do is go over here and double click on this layer and our or single clip. A click will also bring it up and we, now we have the drop shadow structure. You can see we have 135 as the angle and we have a global light that's creating that shadow. And on the distance, spread, and size, we're going to use the same one that they used before. And those are three, tab, 11, tab, and five. We're also going to add an anti-alias to make it a little bit smoother, that shadow. And we're going to click OK. The other thing we're going to do to our box over here, the, the rectangle, is we're going to make it to where you can see through it like you can on the upper one. You can barely see the trees coming through the upper one. We want to do the same thing on ours. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the fill opacity and we're going to actually take that down a little bit. And we're just going to take it down to, uh, I think theirs was about 90 percent and I'll click enter and we can tell that by going up here we can see just about the same amount of the tree coming through maybe we can go down to I'd actually typed in 92 but let's try 85 and 85 gives us a look pretty similar to what they had before we'll move that back down and so now we're all done with the, the bar. We have our shadow, we have our transparency where we can see through this bar a little bit and now it's time to add the text. So we'll go back over on the right hand side to the layers panel and we'll click on the text layer. 
we'll come back over to the Tools panel and select the Text Tool right here. We're going to use Arial, Black, and the size will be about 43 points. And we're going to come back over and simply click with inside the area of the rectangle and spread it out to where we think the word would be size-wise and then type in the word winner. Go over to the selection tool. We can now move that word around wherever we want using the selection tool or what we can do is we can use the arrow to tools to do the same thing. So I can go up here and kind of line it up with the, the word up above and we can see we're pretty well lined up. Move it back down. Now what we want to do is we want to get this word lined where it goes into the, I'm going to go here and select the magnifying tool, but we want to get that word into where it's cutting into the shadow a little bit. So what we're going to do is to move this down. Right now we're on the edge, but we want to go a little bit into the darkest part of the shadow. Otherwise that shadow is going to actually make a line going across our words. So now that we have our words in there, we're going to back up a little bit. And now what we're going to do is add our effects to the, to the words. So we come over here to the right hand side to the text layer, double click, brings up the layer style box. We're going to first add an inner shadow. So we click on inner shadow. We're going to click on, in order to see the tools, we're going to click once and it brings up the tools. We're going to add in the same dimensions that we had before. So we're at 135, we're using global light, and we're going to do the 3, 11, and 5. So we got 3 for the distance, 11 for the choke, and 5 for the size. We're going to once again add the anti-alias just to kind of smooth things out. And now we want to go back in and actually do our knockout. What you have to do is go up where it says blend option, so options default, click once, and it brings up the blending options, general blending. We want to come down to the fill capacity, and we're going to move that down to zero, and we're going to go over to where it says knockout, and we're going to do a shallow knockout. The deep knockout, the purpose of the deep knockdown is if you actually want to go down through multiple layers, we're only going down through one layer, so we want the shallow knockout. We have two other things that are checked down here, blend, clipped, layers as a group, and I'm unclicking that. You can leave it clicked or you can just, you know, disable it either way. What that pertains to is the blending modes up here and how they affect the drawing. And so in a situation, since we're not really using or being affected by the blending modes, we can leave that on or turn it off. And we're going to leave on the transparency shapes layer. So we're all set and we'll click OK. And now we have our two letters. Now there's another step that we can do at this point. We can actually go up and turn these letters into a graphic. The reason being is if we zoom in right now at two of these letters, or a few of them, you'll see that they're very jaggedy. See how jagged that is? And in order to eliminate that, we can go up here to the layers or the type panel and we can go down to where it says convert to shape and at this point we can convert this to a shape or we can wait you can do it either way you can do that now or what I like to do is I I kind of prefer waiting and so we're going to come back out and we're going to go to the next step the next step is to right now what you see is you see this is blocked out to a no background but we don't see the back part of our image and the reason being we come over to the right hand panel and we have to join the text layer with the bar layer and we do that by shift clicking so we click on the let me go over here let me change this we will click on the text layer and then we will click on the bar layer and then we'll do control G or you can go up the layers panel and do uh, join either way and so now this is joined together and we can see through the text. Everything looks great, but we still have these jagged marks. And the reason I wanted to wait is you can see these jagged marks a lot better by doing this next step, the one I showed you earlier, and that is going up into the 
type layer and turning the type into a shape. Now if you notice it's not turned on. Why not? The reason being is that we're if you go over to the layers panel you'll see that we're in the group layer. And we have to open that up and now we'll see all the items we group. That we group the bar and we group the text. Now we'll select the text because that's what we're trying to change. Go up into the type menu. Go down to convert shape. Click that once and now it's converted to a graphic. And if you notice the lines are a lot smoother. And it's it's the actual pixels have kind of blended in more with the the letters, so it looks a lot better. We can go back out and look at our final work, and we can see what our final product looks like. And here we have our summer and our winter. Now you know how to do knockout text in Photoshop.